Welcome back everyone to another editing tutorial. Today I'm going to be covering the new sky replacement feature with Adobe Photoshop 2021. Okay, so to start this off, I got an image uh, open in Photoshop here. Uh, this was one I shot out at Indian Lake on one of my last videos on my photography channel. If you want to see that, I'll throw a link up in the corner right now. But getting started. So now under edit, we have this new sky replacement ability. So after clicking that, it opens up the sky replacement panel and Photoshop does come with a whole bunch of skies. If you click this little down arrow, you have these three categories you can choose through, or you can also import your own by using uh, this little plus button down here. So I have chosen to import my own, but as you notice, there's a mountain in the background and well, if you didn't know, there's no mountains in Wisconsin. So that's really, you know, not gonna look good. So what I'm gonna do is while the sky replacement window is open, you can drag your sky around to reposition it. So I think right about there is going to look happy. To start off, you got these two things. You got shift edge and fade edge. Uh, this is how much your sky is going to blend in. See, on this side, I've got some of the clouds coming through from my original photo, and on this edge, it fades it in so much that it's actually destroying my scene. So you got to find a happy middle point. And kind of thinking I want just a little bit of my actual sky to show through. So let's try a minus 20. I think that should be decent. Looks like my trees are still showing up okay, so I think that's good. And then you have Fade Edge. This is how harsh your transition line is. I kind of actually like that. I... Again, I think 20 might be about the happy spot for this image. That's actually looking pretty good in my opinion. Okay, so then you can adjust the brightness. You can make it dark or brighter depending on how you want to match your sky to this. But for me, I think, I think zero is working out about perfect. And then you can also adjust the temperature of your sky. Say if you want it a lot more yellow to look like a sunset or a lot more blue, you know, kind of whatever you want but I'm going to pull the yellow up just a little bit. I think for this, I'm going to go with 30. You can also adjust the scale of your sky to make your sky image bigger or smaller so that it actually fits with the scene, but I'm kind of happy with this, so I'm not going to mess with that. Um, and then you have foreground adjustments. Uh, these are really cool. Uh, so if you crank it all the way up, it'll adjust the light to kind of match your scene a little bit. So honestly, I kind of like it like that. I think it's blending in better, uh, but I'm going to pull it back just a little bit. So I'm going to go with 90. Then there's the color adjustment and this will recut all the way down at zero. will add no color to your scene. And if you crank it up to 100, it'll color your scene to match your sky. So Again, in the spirit of not going quite too far, but still going a bit, I'm going to go with 90. And now, as you'll notice, my sky is starting to look like, you know, it was naturally there. So I think I'm happy with this, so I'm going to hit OK. And as you will notice over here, I, Photoshop created a group with a whole bunch of layers in it. Uh, these are all the adjustment layers. If you need to edit a mask specifically, you are more than welcome to use these layers or adjust anything else that it created. You can click it on to show the original. And then this is with the adjustment. Whoa, 
Well, I hope you found this useful and, you know, even though I don't necessarily support replacing skies in landscape photography, you know, feel free to use this for your own creative needs, whatever you feel like. Go nuts and have fun. And if you found this useful, definitely, always, always be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And hopefully I will see everyone next time.